Hello and welcome back to Talaria for another episode of the Pay Pass SMP with me, Mr Beardstone, and we have got many, many things we wish to do today. One of which is to solve a couple of mysteries that we've got going on here, but we're also going to be heading over to our main base where we're actually going to be building up our sort of main mushroom biome base thing is what we're doing. We've got a mushroom island and uh, we've, we've done a couple of bits over there already, but we'll discuss that when we get there. First things first, I really need to solve this sound problem. Is that, is that Grandma Mummy down there again? Is she AFK? She seems to just be standing there. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I wonder. Uh, this looks a bit suspicious as well, doesn't it? Wait a minute. Pig oinks. Dolphin swims. I'm looking at the subtitles there. Parrot talks. Wonder if there's something out. What's this? No. Oh. Just seems to be a stone in a picture frame. Stone in a picture frame. I think I heard something move there. <gasps> right. Right, I see you, Grandma. She's still not moving. She's still not moving. What? This has got to be Grandma. Right, there's the parrot. There's the cat. There's a, a fish tank. I guess the fish probably isn't making any noise. Cookies in the furnace. Yeah, this screams grandma to me. I think this is definitely grandma. Best villager mover. Hmm. Definitely something going... Danger. Falling sand. Doesn't look to be any sand at all. Creepers ahead. Turn back. Um, I'm a bit concerned about the and hoglins. Hear them... Okay, this seems like it was designed specifically to keep me out. There's a pig. Some chests. Right. That looks suspiciously like all my stolen goods. Um, what's this do? Oh, light. Okay, yeah, that's handy. So, I'm thinking that this... This could be the answer to my problem. And there's a pig down there. Oh, is that the pig from my balcony? He's been missing. Right, I need to find Grandma. I need to ask some serious questions. She's down there. How do I get down there? What's this? Is that my floor? That is my fl She's been stealing without even going upstairs. Cheek! Right. I'm gonna go and have words with Grandma. She must have another door somewhere. How do I get through there? Um, does spinning this do stuff? No. Hmm. I wonder. Oh. Okay, that looks just as suspicious as the other one. Let's have a look. Aha! What is this going on down here? Wait a minute. She's named an armor. What? What is Grandma playing at? Is that supposed to be moving? There's a, right out. Get out of it. So Stuart's there. That's her food cow. There is. There is. Look, there's a Grandma down there as well. Right. Oh. Gra hey, buddy. Gra grandma Yeah, there's nothing down there. There's nothing to see down there. Well, I'm, I'm a bit... I, I've got to have words with you. What no, is there's it? nothing to see down there. There's nothing to see down there. That sounds no, like lies. Sounds like nothing lies. No, no, really. It's just a well-decorated... There's nothing to see, nothing to hear, nothing. Is this... Is this a painted grandma mummy iron farm? I can No, no, you hear no, you hear nothing. No. That's a sound effect. That's a sound effect. Boom, 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 boom. Just me. Boom. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Okay, let's go. So if I look let's in this box, go. nothing right, okay, yeah, there's iron pouring into the box, Grandma. No, no, no. It's a special effect, I promise. Anyway, this 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 isn't what I've come to talk to you about, but it does explain a few things. Okay, well you can share in iron then. You can you can share in the iron. Gotta go. See you later. Are you are you trying Bye. to are you trying to bribe me already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can have all the iron you want. I mean, that's good to know. I think I will. I really gotta go to my base that's way over there. Gotta gotta yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But before you do that, come here. Mm -hmm. Come here. Get out of the boat. Come on. Come down here. You've got a sword in your hand. Ooh, okay, you've got sorry. a lovely uh, cave. Uh, Is this your mind down here? Yeah, uh, is this your mind down here? Grandma, Grandma. Let's look at mm -hmm. You can't fool me. You you know what this is about. 
First off, this is genius. I love what you There's did off. in here. I think the armor stand yeah. was supposed to be moving, but uh, but it, but it's not. But but yeah. So first off, this oh, this God, this so. is genius. I I love what you did there. However, mm -hmm. what's this? Ooh, this is so pretty. What have you done with your basement? It's lovely. Grandma, there's there's cookies in the oven. I know it's you. There's cookies in the oven. There's a weird armor stand thing going on down there. There's animals everywhere. It's very nicely decorated, I must say. Oh, there is a prize here that says best villager mover. That's not you. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So um, uh, I, I, believe, I believe you won that when me and you went to go move some villagers for Shep, right? Yeah, and and and, and you yeah. won, yeah? Uh huh. So you're still going to claim this place isn't yours? Oh, look at the lovely fish. You just really have a way with the details. Grandma, I found my stolen stuff. I'm getting to the stolen? point now. Yep, I found it. Look, up here. All this stuff. Aren't you, weren't you afraid of the hoglin? Um, I was, I was mildly concerned, but when I realised you'd put sand creepers and hoglins, that this was specifically aimed at keeping me away, it was a bit of a giveaway. So uh, I powered on through. I overcame my fears, and I discovered your treachery. That. You've got some nice stuff in there, yeah. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And I think I figured out how you got it as well, because I saw this, and I thought, that's a nice ceiling that looks like my floor. Hmm. Oh, look at all the bonus iron items you have. Aren't you lucky? Yeah, so, um, Grandma. Yeah, well, got to turn the lights out, save the power. <laughs> no, no, right, wait. So, I mean, I, I love what you've done with the place. I love what you've done with the place, but... I'm gonna to have to politely ask you to um, to move. But look, there's bone meal. There's an automatic bone meal thing. For yeah. Poppy. Yeah. More noise. Yeah. That's, Did yeah. you ever hear that? Yeah. Yeah. I've I've, yeah. I've been hearing the weirdest things. I've not been able to sleep for weeks. I've been kept awake by what I thought was a zoo. It basically is actually <laughs> a zoo down here, isn't it? Well, I needed company. Is it I me, or have company. you just added everything possible that makes noise? Hmm. Oh, uh, villagers. There's no villagers down here. Oh, yeah, okay. Good point. Cool. We're all right, then. Well, either way, Grandma, I have to say, I do love what you've done with the place. But, um... Yeah. Are you still living here, or have you moved out already? Do I need to kick you out, or have you already done no, no, that no, of your own accord? No, no, this is my home. It's so beautiful. I mean, to be honest, and, it is and... very cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you can't... Oh, oh wait. How do I get out? Is that what this lever does? No, that lever locks it when I'm in. But once I'm in, nobody can open it from the outside. So, like, if you were out there... That's genius. So, yep, so see you later. <laughs> oh, fine. Uh, well, you have to turn it back to the place, actually. <laughs> ah, right, so now you're trapped in there. Yeah, well... It's cozy in here. It is a little noisy, though. You're right. Yeah. Cool. Anyway, right. See you later. <laughs> hey, you actually blocked it in more. Well, now we've solved that little mystery, I think it's time for us to move on and have a look around because something I did notice when hunting down Grandma, and I, I still can't believe she did that. I mean, the cheek. I mean, I, I do feel a little bit bad about about kicking her out. I mean, she she did bake cookies, but we'll, we'll we'll see. Maybe once we've calmed down a bit, we can have a chat with Grandma about all the thievery and theft and stuff. But we did get ourselves loads and loads of iron, which we can take out of the iron farm over there. So, uh, you know, every cloud, hey, every cloud. So during the week, this area has been blossoming. So I think it was Fire Frenzy came in and did lots of the paths around this area and ow, another one. And I think it might have been Fire Frenzy that put down all these berry bushes, which are constantly causing me pain these days. Keystone also came along and installed his statue, which I really like. It's sort of a cross between an Easter Island head and a villager. He's even got his arms crossed and I absolutely love it. I think that's genius. Very well done there, Keystone. And as we come down this way towards the original village breeder, this has all been niceified as well. There's still a few things outside, but this area is really starting to come together. In fact, I think, I think most of the spawn island has been built on now. And there's only a few things left to do, really, I suppose. I mean, one of the main things left to do is to find out a little bit more about this rock that we came across when we first arrived here. This is going to take some uh, 
Take some picking apart, I think. But we'll come back to that another episode. For now, it's time to head off to where our main base is going to be. So a sort of rough nether highway has been put in. The centre there is the spawn, and there are roads going north, east, south, and west. We are off on the east road, and I've been here a little bit. I have installed a couple of things, which I'll show you in just a moment. And Mrs. B has also been here as well. So last episode, we acquired our armour, and we got it all enchanted. And I said we had acquired some books via other nefarious means and basically Mrs. B has been over here for a little while, she managed to get a couple of villagers and she got them set up so we had decent mending and efficiency trades and unbreaking as well I believe. So that was a very big help and saved us having to buy those particular books from the town centre. I haven't come up with a design for my tunnel here yet at the moment but it has got all the basalt flakes in the air and things like that and I really do like that for the nether areas. I think the particles that are in the air just look amazing. So we're probably going to do something to try and tie those in as well but for now, we have arrived. And on the other side of the portal, this is where we're going to be building our base. We have a mushroom island here. It's got a couple of pools in it as well, which is... What is this? Scaffolding is great. Change my mind. Okay. Okay. Obviously, this is going to be CJ again. He's trolling me. Enjoy it, right? Dear Mr. B, I'm not sure what was wrong with the gift I left you. There was a lot of heart and work put into gathering the resources. I had hoped to be able to change your mind about my top of the line products, and it seems that I have, as by the confident look that you are wearing here. Please enjoy this larger selection of items, your friend CJ. P.S. If possible, please return your head to bear. I told him I would try to get it back for him. I mean, I am looking quite confident, let's be honest, but oh, my life is more of this stuff. Oh, is there more in the chest? Yep, there's... Oh, God, there's loads. Absolutely loads of it. Right, I've got an idea what we can do with this. There we go. Much better. A use for scaffolding. We'll be burning the lot. For now, I'm going to stash it in here. And we're just going to use that as fuel. If he's going to keep giving it to us for free, we'll keep burning it. So what I was trying to say before that distraction is this is where we're going to be building our base. We have a mushroom island here, and we also have another one over there. So we're going to use that one for our industrial buildings, which I have already made a start on. And over here is where we're actually going to be making our sort of main cool looking awesome base with storage and all sorts. And conveniently, we have these two lakes as well, which not only look awesome, but they're actually ocean, not mushroom. So originally, I was thinking maybe I could put mob farms in these because I would have less spawn proofing to do. But then I thought, I'm just going to use this island as well. So if we fly over here... This is our second mushroom island, which doesn't appear to have any mushrooms on it whatsoever, which is a bit weird. Um, but <laughs> they were definitely here before. But anyway, this is our second mushroom island, and what I've done over here is I've just built up a sugarcane farm here so we can get our fireworks going, and I almost fell into the machine there. At least I can get back out. Let's try that again. As I was saying, we have a sugarcane farm here, which is based on Tango Text Design. I'm not sure what's going Oh, wait a minute. I haven't finished that. There we go, much better. So the way this works is essentially you've just got the observer there that detects when these what the one right on the end there grows uh, and whenever there's a block update essentially which makes the pistons fire and we've just got that repeating all the way down. It's based on Tango Text Design and it is, uh, it's marvellous. We're going to end up with more of these units because although this is producing, it's not been producing loads. I mean, part of that might have been due to the fact that apparently I didn't even finish the top layer. But we've solved that problem now, so it's fine. Also over here, we have an amazing mob farm, which is, I believe, designed by Nembon. I will have links to both the tutorials for these farms in the description. And this has been giving me lots of the things I need. I've been AFKing up here, and it's been, it's been great. It basically just flushes out the mobs, puts them into this little funnel, they all drop down, and they die. And the fires are there because occasionally you'll get some that have got um, feather falling boots on or something like that, and they will not die instantly. So the fires are there just to make sure. And I've used the blue fires because they do twice as much damage. And twice as much damage is twice as much fun. 
and I have been getting absolutely tons of stuff out of this. So I have actually emptied this farm a couple of times already, and as you can see, there's just there's just all the, all the things going on here, all the things. So we're not going to be running out of gunpowder or string or uh, just any of the any of the general mob drops really. We're not going to be running out of them anytime soon. And lastly, over here, this is where our portal comes out, and this is our sort of temporary house that we've got going on here. So there's a bit of storage going on. There's also a sort of enchanting setup, and I believe there's a couple of villagers in here, which is where we can bring more if we need them, which is lovely. We've also got ourselves a few shinies up here as well, which is quite nice. But next thing to do is to find Mrs. B. Mrs. B, you here? I'm downstairs. Oh, uh, one sec. Let me... There you are. Hello, Mrs. B. Hiya. How's it going? Um, Welcome back. What what have you done? Well, I thought I'll start off getting the major bits that we need. You know, you're unbreaking, your efficiency. But then you start slamming down the little book things. And sometimes you get lucky. You get a, a high book from one of the other ones. And you just start collecting them. And I just, I couldn't stop. All right, I've got a problem. It's not, it's not Pokemon. You're not supposed to catch them all. Well, I, I have, so... Uh, what, as in you've literally got all of them? Uh, yeah, I, I think I might have done. Sweet and uh, they're uh, stocked stocked up to the max. Oh, what, and these barrels in front? Nice. Two barrels each. So, so, you oh, see... Two, two barrels? Uh-huh. We did a lot of negotiating, you see, and now we've agreed to a really good price, and everyone's happy. 24 emeralds. That's not, uh, um, that's not bad. No, no. You see, I get mate's rates. What, what do you mean you get mate's rates? I get mate's rates. It's, it's one emerald. One emerald? One. What? It's so, like a pound. It's like a pound store. A cheeky pound? Everything's a pound. Oh, no. You you always buy the things when they're only a pound. I oh, know. I can't help it. Easy maths. Have you literally got all of them? Like, even the rubbish ones? Like, multi-shot? And... Multi-shot? Oh, he's over here. You have got multi-shot? Yeah, of course. Of course this, I have. This is crazy. How many books do you think we need? Well... Oh, look, he is. Wow. You see, you see, I've got some... I was kind of looking at it from a different perspective. They're literally so all full. Aha. Uh -huh. So there's an opportunity here, you see. I got a little bit carried away. It was addiction. I got locked myself down and I just couldn't help myself. But you see, now I'd like to approach you with a maybe a business proposition. Business proposition, eh? I mean, uh -huh. I have a feeling I might know what this proposition entails. Uh-huh. Does it yeah. involve does it involve books? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Books. Um and I'm kind of missing something. See, I've set up, done a lot of work down here, I've put the hours in. So now I thought, oh, it's time you do something. So maybe you could put together a little something special store, maybe a this, you know, prime merchandise. They're all top level. None of that no, I mean, kind of, you know, <laughs> didn't skimp. I've gone all out. You're absolutely Only the mad. best. You are absolutely mad. Um, what? I, uh, yeah, I, I can, I can put you a little shop together. I can put you like a little, yeah. like just like a little pop-up uh, shop to get rid of all the uh, excess books. Yeah. Little? I didn't put all this work in. I have my sights on big diamonds, my love. We've got to go big. Everyone's got to be able to see this from far and wide. It's oh, got to be the place. No. Oh, Go no. on. Where's this maybe, going? Maybe you could, uh, maybe like a, a, a massive profit book with uh, perhaps like a, a, a castle. A castle, yeah? And then we can stick a flag on the top of it to flex all the diamonds we're going to have made from all these books. All these books. Yeah? Right. So, wh when I said pop-up bookshop, I meant like a bookshop that just pops up and then once you sold the stuff, you take it down and it's gone. But do you mean an actual Yeah, an actual. You, you said it. You put the idea out there. That's not Got what I'm... follow through. That's not what I meant. Oh, God. Right, so you want a pop-up book shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. With, with a castle. Stick with, a castle in it. Right, with, with a pop-up book with a castle in it. Uh-huh. To, to sell your books. 
to, to sell all the books. It's got to be magical. A, magi- a magical castle in a pop-up book to sell your books. Yep. And I want it to be classy, you know, oh, only Jesus. the best top quality. Right, I'm, I'm going to leave yeah. before you demand start demanding too much. Um, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. You um, can do it. Have you have you got any resources here I can steal? With it? Is there stuff I can gather? Oh, whatever. I'm just going to have a look around. I'll grab some stuff and I'll go build you a shop. you enjoyed that time-lapse build of our pop-up bookshop here and I am very very pleased with how it's turned out. You may have noticed in the time-lapse that uh, we had we had a gold flag on top. I have since replaced that with a lovely lovely diamond flag. Look at that beauty! And it is actually a couple of days since I first built this shop. I went away for the weekend, I went camping which was lovely and as a result we just sort of stocked the shop, ran away and uh, yeah I've, I've now come back, I've finished the exterior of the shop as well and we've had another new shop pop up nearby like very 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 close. Just it's, 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 it's just down there, see look, there's a little, little sneak peek there but I, I, I'm pretty sure Pretty sure that that is going to be a spoiler if I show you that. So we're going to very, very carefully show you this build. And uh, I'll also show you the interior as well. And there she is. That is the finished build. And I absolutely love how this has come out. I do have plans for some of the surrounding area as well, which I won't go into just yet. But that just looks awesome. I'm very pleased with how that's actually come out. So the entrance to the shop is just down here. We've called it Pop-Up Books for now because, well, it's a pop-up book, isn't it? So it made sense. And uh, as you go in, we've literally just got fully stacked barrels. So every single one of these barrels is packed to the brim with books of the highest level. We have every single type of book in here as well. So, yeah, it's it's pretty crazy what Mrs. B managed to achieve down there in our basement and uh, maybe a little bit horrific for the villagers, but it's fine, it's fine. We do have an opening sale on the books at the moment where all books are one diamond each but soul speed because it's an absolute pain to get hold of. Those ones are actually five diamonds and we have already had quite a few sales. We've actually made that diamond flag at the top pretty much out of book sales just while I was away for the weekend and I think we've had a few more come in since then as well. So yeah, we do we do have a few diamonds to collect which is nice which means we've probably got some books to restock and it's always mending an efficiency every time. If we go behind the counter here I have also put in access ladders so you can get onto the top of all of the different towers so this is the small one at the side here and you almost got a cheeky glimpse of that shop there this is where you go back rewind have a look and realize that you didn't really get to see much at all anyway and then we have our sort of overflow stock room up here as well we made use of some of these mini blocks just to add extra details and i have to say i absolutely love them they are amazing and i will definitely be uh, making good use of those in future over in this corner we have a ladder that goes back down to the shop floor and then we have another ladder here which takes us up to the top of the tower and this is where we can get a good view over the shopping district as long as I'm careful and um, yeah I'm, I'm just really pleased with how it's come out. Hopefully Mrs B is also going to like the shop but sadly we are going to have to wait until next episode to find out her thoughts on that because uh, she, she's gone out partying for the night. Shocking. Sadly, that is all we have time for in today's episode. If you have enjoyed it, then please do like. And if you'd like to see more in future, then please do also subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. Bye-bye now.